If you have a passion for Web3, NFTs, or you're just plain curious, you've probably stumbled across the term IPFS. But what does it mean and why does it matter for you? Hey y'all, Lindsay here. And today we are starting our IPFS 101 series which will get you up and running on the basics of all things IPFS. So, what does IPFS mean? IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System. It sounds really futuristic, right? Well, that's because it kind of is. It offers a fresh twist on file sharing, making it decentralized and distributed. Now, most of the web as we know it runs on HTTP. So picture this. When you're browsing, it's like a conversation between your computer and the website's server. IPFS, on the other hand, is like a buzzing, interconnected chat room. Your data can have multiple touch points. This distributed model is what makes it ideal for blockchain because... It can handle a lot more data and storage than blockchain. There's not one point of contact controlling the data and data stored is immutable and cannot be changed. Think about blockchains as expert bookkeepers writing down transactions. But if you want them to store a chunky piece of data, they'll just give you a reference, a pointer. Imagine bookmarking a web page today, but when you revisit it tomorrow, the content has totally changed. That's not very reliable, right? IPFS fixes that with something called a CID or content identifier, and that's something we'll get to in another video. In short, the CID is a unique cryptographic hash for your content. When you tie these CIDs to the blockchain, you get an immutable record of an immutable file on a decentralized file sharing network. It's pretty awesome, right? So for a quick rewind, IPFS is a revolutionary way to share and store files that are resilient and authentic. But hey, we're still just scratching the surface here. So if you're intrigued, give those subscribe and like buttons some love and join us on our IPFS adventure. Until next time, happy pinning. Bye.